All right, welcome back to the channel. Sam here with GSK Wealth Builders. I just wanted to give you a quick update with uh, Nebra. So Nebra has finally stopped taking orders. I think at this point in time, all of the manufacturers that have been out for months should stop taking orders. And if there's some new ones coming out, the new order should go to that, those ones and they should focus on delivering the miners. Supply chain is hard in, in COVID and they need to focus on delivering and, and pleasing their customers, right? So uh, let's go and just take a look. So this is the Nebra website. And as you see, the Nebra indoor miner is now sold out. Let's take a look at the other Nebra miner. Pre-order today. They sold everything on pre-orders. And yeah, the Nebra Outdoor Miner is sold out. So think about this company. The product wasn't made, right? And then they got the money up front from us who purchased the miners. And now they are sitting on, say, I'm just going to give you a random number, $50 million. Say they're sitting on $50 million in their bank account today. All they have to do now is provide the miners, right? And then maybe it costs them $30 million. 20 million is profit. Deliver the miners, right? So you can put your email in here for uh, restock notifications, and then we'll take a look at the shipping schedule. So batch one, if you are in batch one and you ordered from 26 January to 9th February, you're looking at the indoor miner being delayed already. Why is it delayed? The very first people that ordered, right? So March 19th, they came up with this production update. So we already know that you probably already know 26 July, blah, blah, blah. We launched our miners. It's been seven weeks, huge demand. 26,000 miners production. Okay. So we started sourcing and manufacturing process for miners back in November. We've been ramping up considerably and we have incredible unrelenting. Okay. And it's amazing positive sign for the network below. You can see a section of photos of the manufacturing process. Okay. A couple hundred miners, the chips, the chips, the chips. We've been asking manufacturing partners to take as many pictures. They're not there. They're not even there, right? So take as many pictures. They've been slow on getting them to us. <laughs> I hope they're really trusted, right? So uh, probably goes without saying, but our aim in the near future is to have these units in stock of shipping as soon as possible. Due to supply constraints at the market at the moment, it's difficult for these challenges, right? So. Indoors being redesigned. We have a new pipeline. Building capacity, 20,000 units a month. So imagine there's 250,000 units and they're doing 20,000 a month. We're looking to work with our suppliers. So this is the update, right? It's delayed. Now the shipping schedule, we're going to go back to the main page. So shipping schedule, the very first people that order from Nebra, at best, they're, they're getting their stuff this year in april i haven't seen anyone getting nebras batch two february to end of february they're saying shipping in april outdoor in may batch three right shipping in may shipping in june batch four most people are in batch four that i've talked to are in batch four and batch five like they've ordered in the last week right so june and july and then they're saying batch five anyone after right ever so Anyone who's ordered in the last couple of weeks, Q3. So July, August, September. Right? So we'll ship them as soon as we can. Um, we'd like to add 4G. We recommended that. So what that tells me is these neighbor people are sitting in, I don't know, America, wherever they are, right? And they're just saying like, hey, in China, can you make this stuff? Can you send us a picture of you making stuff? And they're like, yeah, yeah. It better be good, right? So um, that's the update. That's the update. It's not that great. It's not that great information to know. But 
I think it's a good thing that they did the sold out because if you can't provide the first miners on time, you shouldn't be taking more orders. You shouldn't be taking more people's money. You should allow other people that can provide the service to take that money, right? It's not all about making money. We also have to build this network uh, together as a team. And so that's my opinion on that. So yeah, that's the Nibra shipping update. We'll see. Nibra sold out. Nibra sold out. That's what it comes down to. So what are the helium prices today? Let's go to coin market cap, see what's going on in the market. Bitcoin is tank 17% this week. 50,000 is the price. Ethereum at 22, staying strong. Ethereum is going to hit 3,000 soon, I think, in my opinion, not financial advice. Binance, 700, not financial advice. <laughs> um dogecoin looks like it's coming back it's coming back so uniswap that's my coin uniswap they airdropped me 400 coins i like them forever but the ethereum blockchain they need to go on the binance blockchain is what they need to do um ftx solid exchange i don't use them but they're a beast what else unis Never heard of this coin before. Just came out of nowhere. It's worth two billion. Polygon, Matic, amazing. Uh, so fast. Xilica, speed. Where's helium? There we go. Helium's at thirteen dollars. It's down fourteen percent on the week. Most likely just because there's not that much action on helium. Everyone's excited about helium. Everyone's got the miners. We're all now waiting. We're all now waiting. Right, so I have some miners going, and they're making the same as they were uh, before. So the miners are going; they're pumping out money, right? they're spitting out cash. Everyone wants to participate in that market. Helium, I see my target fifty dollars, maybe a hundred. Not financial advice, obviously. So a hundred would put it at ten billion. Right now, for helium to be ten billion, the market has to be way higher, right? So I'm not saying Helium's just going to boom, take everyone else's market share. What I'm going to say is as crypto rises, as all the ships rise and the best projects survive, you're going to see people drop out of the other losing projects. Kaylin, I don't know what that is either. You're going to see people drop out of the losing projects and put that money where their mouth is, right? So for Helium to be worth $10 billion, it would be worth VeChain. It'd be worth Chainlink. Chainlink and VeChain are doing way more than Helium is doing right now, but Helium is going to do just as much, right? So by the time Helium hits 10 billion market cap, Chainlink and VeChain might be 20, 30 billion. That's the way I see it. And so 10x from here is for Helium in my, in my, in my, uh, not advice, in my opinion. Interesting. This coin is a Bitfinex coin. So UNUS said Leo. So DYOR.net, is this it? No, that's not it. There's a website called Do Your Own Research. I don't have it. Do your own research. Let's see if I can find it. There we go. Do your own research.fandom.com, Uniswap, right? So, what was that coin called? I'm just going to open it up again. Then I'm going to go back. UNUS. So you can go on DYOR and then you can go to, I think, tokens. And then what is it? UNUS. So let's go to UN. U should be there. It 
it's not. Okay. What about K? Clayton. Let's look at Clayton coin. So Clayton coin, I never heard of it, right? So I just wanted to see because it's up there. It's number 26. Clayton is a South Korean messaging giant token. Okay. So... I'm guessing it is just like, um, you know, the WhatsApp of South Korea or something like that, right? And they have a crypto coin. So Clayton Network, ground for blockchain services. The public blockchain, enterprise grade, blah, blah, blah. Doesn't make sense. Wow. Samsung? Binance? Wow, I've never heard of this coin in my life, and it's worth four billion right now, diluted twenty one billion. And that's just me sleeping because it's been around since April twenty twenty. But it looks like it's tanking, so I'll have an opportunity to buy it later. So yeah, Clayton at sixty five cents. <laughs> Let's see if it can get there. But yeah, that's a crazy coin. That's a nice blockchain and it looks like Samsung is on it. So anyways, that's the prices. So we have Helium right now. So Helium is $13. Um, I just want to talk about the need for shipping and we'll see what the other companies are doing later on. So that's all I have for now. Um, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the alert button so you can see more videos and I'm going to keep bringing them to you. Thank you.